congratulations, you've made it to the end of these videos. This is the last one, and we're just going to dig into the membership covenant. So if you turn to page 9 in your packet, you can follow along. A covenant is a promise between two parties, but it's also more than that. The most common example we see of a covenant is in marriage. In a covenant, the obligation is not contingent on the faithfulness of the other, but is instead contingent on the faithfulness of God. We realize that we regularly sin against each other, but we'll do our best to love, honor, and cherish one another. One of the most striking examples of a covenant in the Bible is in Genesis chapter 15. So God is going to make a covenant with Abraham. And the way covenants took place at this time is you would take a few different animals and then cut the animals in half, put one half of the animal on one side, another half of the animal on the other side, and then walk in between those, those animal carcasses. What that signified is my life is like one of these animals if I break this covenant. And so both parties would walk through the path in between those two carcasses to signify this, this, this covenant that was taking place. But what's unique about God's covenant with Abraham is Abraham falls asleep after the carcasses have been dealt with. And then God comes down and walks through by himself signifying that it is not contingent on Abraham's faithfulness, but is instead contingent on God's faithfulness, and God's faithfulness never changes. So what we ask is, as members of South Suburban, we covenant to pray fervently. We will pray for the good of the church, for our leadership to be faithful, for our body to grow in health and Christ-likeness, and for our church to demonstrate the gospel in word and deed to the watching world. We will attend regularly, we will make the corporate gatherings a vital part of our lives, and we'll do our best to be regularly involved in other gatherings, whether they be small groups, classes, membership meetings, or other events. We also commit to inform the overseers in writing if the Lord calls us to another church or moves us to a new location. In that event, we will find a new Bible-believing and preaching church and transfer our membership. We will give generously. We recognize that we are blessed to be a blessing. So we will give generously through our time, talents, and treasures, recognizing that everything we have is a gift from God for us to steward as His ambassadors. We will serve faithfully. God has equipped all of us uniquely, so we will do our best to steward our gifts for the good of the body and the glory of God, so that when others look at us, they will see our good deeds and give glory to our Father who is in heaven. We will communicate honorably. Communication is vital to the life of the body, but not all communication is honoring. We will seek to outdo one another in showing honor in our communication, as well as keeping the body informed of needs, whether they be physical or spiritual. Keeping them informed of our current address and inform them of ways in which we are growing. Another aspect of communication is being willing to follow the church discipline process laid out in Matthew 18, 15-17. Therefore, we covenant to both confess our sin when confronted, and be willing to share with others when we are sinned against, therefore doing our best to live at peace with everyone. We will submit joyfully. We will submit ourselves ultimately to the Scriptures as our final arbiter on all issues, to the Holy Spirit as teacher, helper, and guide in truth, to the leadership of the Church as those who are keeping watch over our souls, and to each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. We also recognize that as members of South Suburban, we are responsible for voting to affirm deployment, the employment of the senior pastor, the buying and selling of property, the annual church budget, our overseers, and new members. Finally, we understand that by signing this covenant, we acknowledge that we have read, understand, and agree with the SSEFC Constitution and bylaws, as well as supporting the EFCA Statement of Faith. In response to that, we as overseers of South Suburban Covenant 2 be devoted to the ministry of prayer and God's Word. We will pray for all our members as we are made aware of needs as part of our personal prayer life and as part of our monthly shepherd meetings. We will also ensure that all ministries of South Suburban are faithful in the proclamation of God's Word by refuting false teaching and modeling true teaching. We will shepherd the flock of God that is among us. We will prayerfully seek God's will for our church and steward the resources given to the best of our abilities. We will equip the members of the church for the work of the ministry. We will do the best we can to train and equip others to use their God-given gifts for the good of the body. We will lovingly exercise church discipline when necessary. When we observe unrepentant sin, we will lovingly confront to ensure fidelity to holiness, 
following the pattern Jesus gave us in Matthew 18, verses 15 to 20. Lastly, we will set an example to the body. We will encourage others to imitate us as we imitate Christ. We will follow Christ to the best of our abilities and shepherd the flock of God that is among us to the glory of God alone. If you've gone through this class and have come to the end now and would like to sign up for membership, please print off this last page, sign and date it, and bring it along with you to the next step in the membership process, which is reaching out to the overseers and, and set, setting up a time for an interview with them. Again, if you have any questions about anything that we've covered in any of these videos, feel free to reach out to any of us on staff. We are looking forward to coming alongside you and helping you grow to become more like Christ. We're also looking forward to seeing how God uses and equips you to use your gifts to serve our body for the glory of God alone.